You heard what they said on TV? Ah. That's what's called easy money. Former soldier, aren't you? Cloud, was it? Former soldier turned problem solver. Are you okay, Miss Folia? You look upset. Uh, yeah, I am pretty upset. The kids are still off doing patrols, even though it's now time for their lessons. Not a single one of them has come back yet. Patrols? Is that a leaf house thing? Something they do to help out? That's right. In return for the donations we receive, the kids go around town picking up litter, running errands, that kind of thing. I don't suppose you've seen any of them, have you? Oh. You see, I have some important plans this evening, and I really need to go and get ready. Would you like us to go round them up? Oh, that would be wonderful! There are five of them out on patrol right now. They all wear homemade swords on their backs, so they should be easy to spot. You're back! Yep, yeah, you got it. Come, look what we've done with the flowers! Lovely, don't you think? Great job. That's wonderful. <sighs> Isn't it? Oh, I nearly forgot. I saw some Shinra suit walking towards your house a little while ago. He was dressed all in black. A little scary looking. What is it gonna get her? You can see the sky? You're that soldier, right? Can I ask you a super important question? I heard bad people broke the Mako reactor, and there's gonna be another war because of it. Is that true? Who knows? But isn't there something else you should be worrying about right now? <gasps> I forgot about Miss Folia's lesson! I gotta head back to the house! How goes the patrol? There's a lot more people on the streets than usual. Maybe because the reactor blew up? Well, you've been keeping a very sharp lookout. But, don't you think you're forgetting something important? Oh, Miss Folia's lessons! I gotta get back to the house! Did you know? You scared me! Hey there, how goes the patrol? I've been watching them really close. I'm trying to learn all about the business. You want to open up a shop of your own someday? Yeah, so I can earn lots of money and use it to help the house. The teachers don't like to talk about it, but we know the donations aren't enough to keep things running. Uh, but that's a secret, okay? I'm not supposed to tell anyone. Anyway, I gotta go study. As the children we interviewed earlier today, whose parents died in the war, will attest to. Hey there, how goes the patrol? Great! I've been picking up garbage and giving people directions. Plus, I helped an old lady cross the street. You've been busy. It's a normal day for me. Gotta work hard. The house depends on people's donations. Oh no! I'm late! Did you see Miss Folia? Is she mad? Oh, I gotta go! I'm sorry! Hello, Cloud! Sir, it's a real honor to meet you! I think you soldier guys are awesome! I want to be strong and tough when I grow up, too! You sound very determined. These are dangerous times. The reactor blew up and a bunch of kids lost their friends and families. Who knows what might blow up next? I guess that means more children might be coming to the house soon. And I think the teachers are gonna have a whole lot more work to do. Speaking of teachers, Ms. Foley is looking for you. 
Oh man, I completely forgot! I have to get back right now! That's everyone. Let's go back to the house. Hey, any more around? My lights have been on. Just got in a big old chip in a The children finally came back, thanks to you two. You've been a great help. Okay, everyone, come inside. It's time to hit the books. <sighs> you guys, the Toad King's back. I saw him near the hideout. We gotta do something about him. The Toad King? A weird, creepy monster we've seen near the hideout lately. He wears a crown and walks around like he owns the place. If he's not a king, he's gotta be monster royalty at least. I bet a soldier could beat him up easy. Oh yeah, real easy. But here's the thing. I don't work for free. Or cheap. But we don't have any money! The watch wouldn't ask for money. But if we ask any other grown-ups for help, they'll find out about the hideout, and that'll be it. We really don't want to lose the hideout. Come on, help us! Oh, and we'll give you some cool treasure if you do. And if that's not enough, I'll pay the rest of your fee once I open my shop. Well, if you won't help, then we'll just have to kill it ourselves. I'll do it for three gil. Huh? I'm offering a special discount right now on Toad King jobs. Looks like it's your lucky day. Awesome! Now that's my kind of bargain. I'm sorry we had to give you such a dangerous job. But there's really no one else we could have asked. You're our only hope. I really like Miss Polly's lessons, and she's really nice. But she's also really scary. Come on. I'm scared of the dark. A couple of drinks. Gramps has been feeling a lot better. Monsters out there are getting stronger and stronger. But that's no problem for you, though, right? Be careful, anyway. myself, you know. Never in doubt. Easy. That it? Punch through. Right, we gotta hurry. Just go away. Go on. All right. 
Did you defeat the Toad King? Yep. Kicked his butt real good. Awesome! I knew you could do it! Now we don't have to worry about the king and his smelly friends. Thank you so much! Here, this is for you. The treasure we promised. It's definitely worth at least three gil. Okay, kids. Playtime's over for now. I've prepared a special assignment for everyone. One that I expect you to finish today. Understood? Uh, yes. Yes, Miss Folia. I appreciate you getting rid of the Toad King, by the way. Wow, Miss Folia. You must know all their secrets. Oh, if only. Easier said than done. They're always on the move, looking for new adventures, chasing new dreams. All while trying to make the lives of everyone around them just a little bit better. I try to make sure they don't stumble and fall, and when they finally do, I help them back up. Hmm. Sounds exhausting. <laughs> Sometimes it is. But I want the children to know that until they can stand on their own two feet, that I'm here to support them, care for them, love them. That even if we're not actually related, we're still a family. A real family, in all the ways that matter. If I can do that for them, then... Well, then maybe I'm making this world a better place. I know you are. My predecessor taught me everything I know. I just took up his torch and ran with it, I guess. Uh, not that I'm anything close to what he was. Biggs is one of a kind. <gasps> oh no! I've completely lost track of time! Do you have somewhere you need to be? More like a dream I need to fulfill. Thank you again for your help. I wonder what kind of dream she's chasing tonight. No idea. Thanks again for saving our hideout from the king. In return, I let everyone know you guys can join the game as special guests. If you want to know more, then come to the hideout. Now that things are starting to settle down a bit, we can finally play Whack-A-Box again. It's all thanks to you. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's this tired-looking guy out by the community center, and I heard he was looking for some help. He doesn't see me. Be quiet. Yeah. Oh, hey, Cloud. You're just in time for our favorite game, Whack-A-Box. You want in? It's super fun. The rules are easy. The person who whacks the most boxes is crowned champion of the hideout. We usually don't let adults play, but since you're cool, we're gonna make a special exception just for you. Well, what do you think? Do I have what it takes? Ah.
Feels good to help people out, doesn't it? Yeah. You having fun yet? Heaps. Then you can't be afraid to show it more. Don't forget, it's all about service and salesmanship. I'll leave that to you. All right, but don't think you can rely on me forever, mister. Wasn't planning to. That's good, cause I command a very good salary. The Moogle Emporium. Thanks, you guys. I've got a whole mountain of Moogle medals now. Soon I'll be able to make everyone here super happy. That's wonderful. So, like Mog the Moogle, you'll be able to make all our hopes and dreams come true? Not just yours, Kubo. The wishes of every single person in the slums. It's a lot of wishes. Lots of people in Midgard love to collect Moogle medals, you know. They'll pay anything to get their hands on more. I'm using the money to set up more shops all throughout the slums, Kubo. I'm giving jobs to the other kids and making life better for everyone here. And that's how I'll make everyone happy. That's one way of doing it, Kubo. And I've got extra happiness for you two. So what's to stop us from selling directly to these collectors? Uh... Moogle magic, Koopa? Next time, keep your plans to yourself. Thanks, you guys. By working together, I know we can make the world a happier place.
Shinra weapons are on the rampage. Five of them, like floating eyeballs. I saw them wander off into the scrap, but if they come back into town, it'd be a disaster. We need someone who's willing and able to fight. So, do you think this means another war's coming? I'll handle it. You will? Oh man, you're the best! I could hear them shouting intruder detected or some other nonsense when they floated off. Be careful, they look dangerous. Sure hope not. Mm -hmm. This isn't a game. Focus. Brace 
yourself. So it's my turn? One more shot! Lend me your strength? It's your turn! My turn. Get ready. Brace yourself. I heard, I heard, you got them all, right? Robots from the reactor getting lost in the slums. Must be because of the explosion up top, huh? They must have thought they were protecting the reactor and figured I was trespassing on their turf or something. Maybe. Almost feel sorry for me, getting all lost and confused like that. Oh, what am I saying? Man or machine, Shinra bitches get what they deserve. Now hold on. Anyway, I think it's safe to say our work here is finished. If you're ever in the market for a Merc again, remember, you can count on Cloud. Uh, sure. And sorry about putting this on you all of a sudden. I'm really glad you were willing to help out, though. Thanks again. Actually, while you're here, I've got another favor to ask. There's this old guy who hangs out in front of the weapons shop. I think he might need your help. Would you mind talking to him? Actually, I was thinking of volunteering for the watch, like you. That's wonderful. Let's take down Avalanche.